Welcome back to the Witcher series everybody. Today we have yet another side quest. Hopefully a little bit longer than the last one, but we will see. Let's see what does this guy has on his mind. What happened here? Oh, got a wee bit chilly the night, so I set fire to my forge. Got a nice and roaring. Roasted some wieners. What do you think happened, dimwit? Some bugger set alight me, me workshop. I've lost everything. Everything! Easy on the insults. I could add to your misfortune. Any suspects? Whole damned village. I've lived here half a century. Thought they saw me as one of their own. But everything changed when the Black Ones came. I'm the only smith around, so I got to service their garrison. Bang dents out of plate, shoe horses. That sort of thing. And elf guardians don't pay me a bloody copper. Just give me supplies and orders. But humans can't fathom that. Well, they think I'm getting rich off their misfortune. That I sleep on a pile of gold like a plowing dragon. They've stopped talking to me. Spit when I pass. And now this. I can find your arsonist, provided you're willing to pay. <sighs> I've not much left. I'll give you all if you bring me that horse in, so that he gets what he deserves. The night of the fire, I heard movement outside my hut. Went out to see if I could find any tracks, but found nothing. But then I haven't got cat eyes, have I? Good luck. Cat eyes? I don't have cat eyes. Shavings from a tinderbox. Arsonist must have lit his torch here, tossed it on the roof, then fled through the orchard. Bootprints. A man's. Large. Stinks of piss and vodka. Took off his boots and went in the water. Probably wanted to cover his trail. Something jumped out of the rushes. Drowners. But he managed to escape. Oh, come on. What now, you piece of filth? Okay, let's finally find out who burned the house of that blacksmith. Lost his loot back to the rush. village. Bleeding, but not badly. Surface wound. Hmm. Trail ends here, but I'll recognize him by his wounds. What happened to your mug? Drowner claw marks. It's gotta be him. Nasty wound. Run into a drowner. What the fuck do you care? Whoa, our arsonist's a charmer too. Come on, 
Smith wants to talk to you. I not talk to a non-human. Sons of bitches all, and dwarves are the worst. Greedy little magpies do anything for gold, they will. <laughs> they forge the blades the black ones put to our throats. Am I not right? Listen. We can work this out, man to man. I give you gold, you don't turn me in. My mum died a while back and I sold her tools. I've spent some, but what's left is yours. Ah, <sighs> no. You burned the whole house from that man, so nah. Magpies and dwarves might be greedy, but I'm not. Can't buy me. Then I'll beat your fucking mug to a pulp! Hmm. I'm not going to use X Try me, him. peasant. I could use the practice. I give up! Damn it! You broke my nose! But not your legs, so let's go see the smith. And take my advice. Don't try anything else. <laughs> Here you go. One village pyromaniac in the flesh. Nap! You! I knew your mum for years. Charged her nary a copper. This is how you repay me! I've had enough. Hey, soldier! A minute of your time, please. No! Willis, I beg you! I, 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 I was drunk! Didn't know what I was doing! I've told you, Master Willis. We will help you rebuild once reinforcements come. The supplies have been ordered. Not what this is about, mate. This here's the arsonist! A witcher found him! The forge was important to the garrison. Destroying it was sabotage. No trial needed here. Just a tree. Harsh as punishment goes. But deserved. You know, I hated the Black Ones at first, like everybody else did. Now I'm thinking they might just bring order to this place. Teach these layabouts some manners. But enough about that. Your reward. And, I managed to save some things from the fire. Anvil's still whole, so I'm sure I can bang something out on it. You need anything, let me know. Give you a good price. Alright, so I think there's only one more side quest to go and then we are going for the main story and finally meet up with our Yennefer. So I'll see you in the next episode before we leave White Orchard.